Cleopatra, died at the age of 39 years. On August 12, 2022, marking the 2050th anniversary of her death, the Queen ruled Egypt for 21 years and was officially reported to have committed suicide, but her legend continues to defy time, surpassing 2,000 years of mystery. That's our story for today. Hello friends. Welcome to the CHF Information Channel. Before we begin, please remember to like and subscribe if you enjoy our video efforts. Historians debate her appearance, ability, and participation in Egyptian or Roman political events to this day, with film, literature, theatre, and fine arts entwined in that medium and frequently contributing to misinformation. To begin with, the Demolaic Dynasty, of which the Queen was a member, had more than one Cleopatra. The one that piques our interest is the seventh, and final, in its lineage. Cleopatra VII, born under Roman control, was thus an astute Egyptian monarch who ruled Egypt for 21 years, generations before Christ's birth. His family, the Ptolemies, were Macedonian Greeks who called themselves pharaohs and ruled for ten generations. She was adored in Egypt but viewed as a villain in Rome, which contributed to her image as a seducer and calculating figure in historical accounts that are still used as a basis today. After all, her two most respected generals fell in love with her, and in the midst of the Roman civil wars, Mark Antony abandoned everything to join her. Octavian, Caesar's adopted son, and Mark Antony, Caesar's protege, eventually found themselves on opposing sides, with Cleopatra as one of the flashpoints. Octavian despised her. The Egyptian queen's life and rule were cut short by Octavian's ambition to be Rome's sole emperor, which clashed with the triumvirate and Mark Antony's popularity. It didn't help that the general abandoned Octavian's beloved sister, to whom he was married, to marry Cleopatra, with whom he had three children. They planned to lead an Eastern Roman Empire together, giving Octavian the motivation he needed to carry out his personal plan. Members of the Ptolemaic dynasty, like many other royal houses, frequently married within the family to preserve the purity of their bloodline. More than a dozen of Cleopatra's ancestors married cousins or siblings, and her own parents were most likely brother and sister. Cleopatra eventually married both of her adolescent brothers, each of whom served as her ceremonial spouse and co-regent at various points during her reign. Cleopatra eventually married Mark Antony and had three children with him, but their marriage caused a huge scandal in Rome. Antony's rival, Octavian, used propaganda to portray him as a traitor swayed by a scheming seductress, and the Roman Senate declared war on Cleopatra in 32 BC the following year, a famous naval battle at Actium brought the conflict to a close. Several dozen Egyptian warships were personally led into the fray alongside Antony's fleet, but they were no match for Octavian's navy. The battle quickly devolved into a rout, forcing Cleopatra and Antony to breach the Roman line and flee to Egypt. After Octavian's forces pursued them to Alexandria in 30 BC, Cleopatra and Antony famously committed suicide. While Antony is said to have stabbed himself in the stomach and died as a result, Cleopatra's method of suicide is less certain. According to legend, she died by luring a asp most likely a viper or Egyptian cobra, to bite her arm, but Plutarch, the ancient chronicler, admits that what really happened is unknown to no one. Cleopatra was also known to conceal a lethal poison in one of her hair combs, according to him, and the historian Strabo speculates that she may have applied a fatal ointment. Given this, many researchers believe she used a pin dipped in a potent toxin possibly snake venom. Cleopatra's name was associated with a vamp, sexually compulsive, untimely, manipulative, and profiteer, in cinema, very typical of the sexist version that tarnished her legacy. More than 2,000 years of slander. On screen, she was played by a variety of beauty icons, all of whom were Caucasian. The most famous, of course, is Elizabeth Taylor, who starred in Cleopatra, which was the most expensive film of all time for a long time. 
There are two projects in the works, one of which used to be associated with Angelina Jolie but is no longer. Denis Villeneuve is directing this project created by Scott Rubin. The other, more talked about, is the one in pre-production, directed by Carrie Scogland, and starring Gal Gadot as the Niles Queen. Thanks viewers for your positive feedback and comments for our channel. That's all for now. Please subscribe to our channel and press the bell button to receive notifications about new videos.